Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to a daily video. So, for this daily video, I didn't have much planned, but as you can see, I have some eggs that we're going to open up uh, soon. Not now. What I wanted to talk about was um, my golem progression. So, last night, I did a stream. I think like a 2-3 hour stream. And I was talking to Fantasy about about golem runs. Now, essentially, I haven't been really focusing on the uh, golem runs itself. The reason why is because to me it's too slow. So he was helping me out. He was giving me some tips and some other some other ways to clear the dungeon because I've just been nuking it. And the reason why I've been nuking it is because well, my team is basically four dragons and I'm just using that dragon team to go in and whatnot. So the plan for this weekend is to farm a lot of dragons. Uh, not dragon scissors, but farm the dragon dungeon so I can complete a siphon set and a leech set. So the leech set is going to go on my Nike, all defense, right? And that's going to make, that's going to open up um, ways for me so I don't have to use a uh, my, my water purse. Now eventually I'm going to move, move my, a, my, holy shit, I forgot the name. Oh, I'm going to move my light snowy into the team and replace it with water, I mean, replace snowy with, uh, for water, I mean, with water purse. Or replace the water purse with the snowy that's the idea but until i get another um i just need three more copies to feed my other snowy that so i can evo three this one and in order for me to do that or while i'm waiting i should say while i'm waiting i'm just gonna farm for the gems for it and then that'll be my project in the end but for now i'm gonna have to use water purse but in the in the future i'm going to use a uh, snowy on a siphon set attack attack HP now also what I do have uh, currently is this water Yuki at uh, five stars now next week I have to wait till next week because I don't have enough stones to send it right now if I could I would but I'm using sap in golden's b10 because um well someone sat down and did the math and and showed that uh well, actually, no, 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 no. That was actually for HP leverage. I'm sorry, scratch that. But um, for sap, sap makes it go by a whole lot quicker. Um, I was sapping the dungeon last night, and I noticed my runs were, uh, more, uh, they were stable. Uh, but it seemed like killing the boss was going by faster. Now imagine that if this wasn't 60%, and that one of these saps was at 100%. Okay, and imagine that. Um, I actually had one of those monsters like the fire purse actually is probably the best sapper that you could use for b10 because on the active it's she's always gonna sap it's an aoe sap now if she's on a uh, life uh, siphon set you're always gonna be sapping after the first wave and then you're just gonna continue um, getting that sap in I think the sap is uh, for I think it's three saps for one turn if I'm correct and for the boss, that's actually really OP. And the reason why this this whole that whole conversation came about, okay, so, so yeah, two types of sap for for two turns, and it's guaranteed on a seven set. You're just gonna keep stacking saps, and the way that those saps work, um, it's just gonna it's just gonna be um, it's gonna be a pretty quick process. Now the way I see it is, the reason why you run uh, attack oriented gems or sets on the sapper or the reason why i'm doing it is for the high amount of base damage to help me get through uh you know the mobs and stuff and then of course the sapping is going to help the the damage plus the saps is going to help the go by the boss quicker that's the reason why i'm trying this um ruin set out the reason why i'm also trying this ruin set out is because well this uh ruin set is the best gem sets that i that i actually have i actually tried her on a broken set valor set I mean a broken set of uh, attack damage set where it just like like went all attack damage but um i just want i i want to try this out i felt like um the the all attack worked or worked a little bit better um she's still getting one shot uh during the mobs like during the b10 mob like if uh i get like moon flowers and two moon flowers are alive with their with full bars like she's guaranteed dead, but then that could change if she hits six stars. So 
the idea is to get her on a siphon set and then I need to get skill books for her so I can push that 60% to 80% because this is the best sapper I have. Um, you could argue that Gatito is a good sapper, right? Yes, he is on his uh, first star skill. Yes, he is. But for the for the sake of getting through the mobs in B10, AOE sap is the ideal is the ideal skill of choice when it comes to using sap for B10. Uh, because when you sap a single target, or if you're sapping one monster, um. You're, you're just ignoring the rest of the other monsters that that could be sapped. So if you see what I'm saying, I'm saying that if, you, if AoEs are better because, for one, they're damaging everyone else in the mob, but then you're also going to apply saps to them and it makes the process go by a whole lot quicker. And then when you're trying to trim down seconds, that's going to make a, you know, it makes a big difference. Because when you get to the boss, the boss is also what's going to make a big difference. Because when you get to the boss, um, if you don't kill him fast enough or sap him fast enough, he's going to do... when he, Once he gets below a certain percentage, I think like 45% or something, if he has like 25 or something per, percent uh, HP left, he does this attack where he hits once, twice, or he hits three times. And it t it's a really slow attack animation. So this is the way I was running it. The reason why uh, C Star is lead as of right now is because I'm running her in ruin, and then with the C Star active, she hits 100% uh, crit. So she crits every time. The reason why I'm running Nike is for damage magnet. Everything focuses her. It focuses her, and then water purse is to make sure that my um, Nike stays alive. So it's to sustain my Nike. Um, I'm really, I'm really dumb when it comes to uh, Golden's B10. I, I don't really have any um, pioneering ideas for it. But since the sapping idea is something that I haven't tried out ever in Golem's B10, I thought might as well because since the Golem change, the, the it's not the difference in Golem B10 now is not the fact that he hurts anymore. Or that he's gonna kill me or, or silence me and stuff. The fact is, is he has a lot of HP now. And that, when you're trying to trim down times to make give, get a faster time, that's your biggest enemy. So the next best idea is to sap the dungeon. If you're able to sack, st stack, if you're able to stack saps on, on the golem, it's gonna go by, by a whole lot quicker. And I've talked to people, I've heard that people were able to trim off uh, 10 to 20 seconds on their golem times just by putting in a sapper and mostly almost everybody i know or majority of the people might have this yuki because um there was an event where you were able to fuse uh the evo 2 yuki with something to get an evo 3 yukina now this run that i'm gonna do or that i'm gonna perform right now might be a little rocky around the edges but um just keep in mind that uh, Yuki is on a, on a rune set. My um, hold on, my my C star is it doesn't have the best gems to be honest, but I think she does survive uh, fairly well. Um, she's at almost 8k defense. Um, not these gems are all defense, not even plus 15. My Nike is at 10k defense, and that's on a broken set, guys. And then my water purse. Oh fuck, why do I do that? And then my water purse is kind of incomplete, but uh, 86,000 um, HP. So we'll just run this once, just so you can see it. Um, I think majority of the people are starting to do sap now. I'm not sure if you are, aren't, but Something that you could do is probably raise like water mihos, like three water mihos on siphon set. Actually, at the at the very best that you could do is like put them all on siphon set with maybe like um maybe like a light like like a light Nike to tank damage. No, 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 that that wouldn't work. Um, fuck, what would you put as lead? I would I would try and run a, a Nike though, just for um. Which you would call it? 
I would try and run a Nike for the attack up damage just so that they, they hit a little bit harder in their base damage to help get by mobs and then if they're all on Siphon set then then they all like they're always going to be sapping and if you they're always going to be sapping like I think it's 60% right on their AoE or is it 80? No, it's 100% and then 60. Yeah, 60% and then if you push it, I think you can push it. If you push it to 80, holy shit. It might be way better than this Yukina right now because this, or actually it will be because it's three times uh, water Mihos, but it actually got me thinking about trying to raise a water Miho team since I have no um, AoE sappers that I can rely on. I mean, I have one, but it's only a water Yuki. So we're at the boss right now. The problem with this team is um, it's RNG. The thing with running one sapper right now at, at, at both 60% um, activation rates is the um, is the RNG. Like if you saw, I was able to take out the right and the left minion pretty fairly quickly. But if I miss the sap on that, then that's going to count towards um, my run time. And then of course every every sap in between that I don't sap is going to also count towards my runtime, so it's gonna slow it down. And nevertheless, so it's not gonna be uh, what we what we call stable enough. That's why running a hundred percent AOE uh, sapper is very um, important for the stage. At least in theory, in theory you should be able to, but for. But for, but for right now, this Yuki isn't even on like a, a siphon set. She's just purely uh, sapping. She's sapping purely. I, that's what I would say. Like, there's no buff to her saps at all. No skill books. No nothing. It's just 60% activation rate and then, uh, well, crit a uh, ruin set. She has a ruin set on, but then saps don't scale with crit. The 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 the, the damage that you do. Before the sap does though, right? It's probably one of my so 256. That's not um. That's probably one of the fastest times you get. I'll probably get like 248 on a good day, um, if she doesn't die. But um, usually around it'll go to 312, three minutes 12 seconds as well. And holy shit, I forgot I, I pressed times 20 on that and I didn't stop the auto battle. So we'll just we'll just go with this again. Cause I don't want to stop this run. I don't want to make it go to waste. So that's that's my current um that's my current goal for for Golem's B10. Um, cause I want to push the envelope on Golem's B10 to make it farmable. But for that, I'm gonna need some units. Um, ideally the Fire Shiva. And I think maybe the Water Shiva, but the Water Shiva's AOE is at 80%. So ideally, the Fire Shiva at Evo 3 with this comp, maybe if she was a leader skill, maybe if she was in the lead, or maybe if Nike was in the lead and then I just slip a Fire Person there with my Yuki and Purse, or actually with the Snowy on a Siphon set, I think it would go pretty fast. I know that Fantasy's times are like uh, a minute and 48, I think, or something like that, or a minute 30. Somewhere around those times. Another thing that I was I did is um my I had a siphon set laying around. It's like recovery HP defense or something like that. Um, I put it on my Mona because it's square diamond diamond, and I'm just farming like the early stages for sigils for that's and I get like 48 seconds per run. I think that's pretty normal. I'd show it to you guys, but then it might be boring seeing like a Mona one shot um waves but i think it'd be exemplary for newer players to see how 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 that's supposed to work i think uh, there's i think youtubers have made videos of running on siphon set if they haven't then I'll, I'll just go ahead and put that one out later um but it's actually pretty it's really fast i was like holy shit i, I didn't realize how much time that cut off from runs like usually it's like a minute 20 right or a minute 12 or something like that but at 48 seconds holy shit I'm running into Coco so fast on extreme guys with a Mona and Siphon set. So this is a, these two runs were actually, 
pretty good. Like Yuki is actually doing fairly well. In some of the runs, she'll she'll actually die, but and then Kraken and Nike will have to take take care of them, the boss. But she's actually doing pretty all right. And that's that's what happens when you have the whole factor of RNG. So nice. I got two saps. If she gets like one more sap, he's dead. Actually, I think he's he's pretty much dead this turn. And that also, the the sapping the sapping part actually works for that little bit of HP. If you weren't using a sapper, then you'd actually have to wait to your next turn to actually kill the boss. So two minutes forty five seconds. Um, I can shave off a whole lot more, um, but I'm gonna need better gems. I'm gonna need like um, another sapper that I can rely on at the very least. Sorry guys, I'm really thirsty. Oh, this is a shit gem. Okay, so so now what we'll do is we'll go to we'll go to base, and before I end the video, we're we're gonna open up the eggs because I've been doing the dungeon. Um, so I'll just save those for off off cam. But we have nine eggs. So we'll just open them, and then if we have enough, we'll do rebirth. Because I'm still trying to get a better dark Victoria. The dark Victoria I pulled has uh, no square slot, so it's kind of useless to me. I was saving up to Evo her just in case, but I think for now I'll just catch Kokomaru's for the Kokomaru rebirth that's coming up. I feel like the light and dark Kokos will actually do pretty well for B10, so I actually want to... I don't really have a full thought process around it. I know Fanta was talking to me about it last night, but I mean, I just gotta, I gotta get in there and do it for, to actually like comprehend what's going on. But essentially, it's not, it's not a terrible monster, even though it's HP aggression and the typing is attack as an attacker. Okay, I'm not getting anything from these. I think like one day I actually pulled like uh, three, four stars. That was oh shit, my rubber band. That was God. Oh, here we go. Nice Ahana. Something I'll probably use for the rebirth festival. Nice, a Kokomaru. Okay, I'm happy with that. Oh shit. Shoot. I actually went out. Okay, so... I actually am tempted to save the Mihos. Okay, so I think we only have enough for one rebirth. Because I want to save my Mihos for a water Miho, that's why. Oh no. Come on, don't do this to me! No! What happened? Never trust Wi-Fi, guys. Never trust Wi-Fi. Oh no. There you go. Sorry about that. Fuck! Ugh! I wonder if I can make it to 30. I'll probably have to farm the dungeon a whole lot harder. 1, 2, 3, 4. I don't want to give up the Miho, dude. It was a free Miho. Actually... Almost really something. Let's go take the Seedler. One, two, three, four, five. Ah, fuck it. We'll just give the mood wood mona. Nice. Uh, the wrong Victoria, dude. It's the wrong one. That's fine. On the bright side. I'll probably raise a second Victoria, and then this Victoria I'll put on a um, siphon set, right? 
So I'll have one on Siphon, and then I'll have one on Leech, and then I'll have uh, maybe a Sapper, and then a, uh, a Snowy. But then if I don't have a Snowy, I'll just run two Victorias instead. Put them both on, uh, I'll put them, put one on Leech, put one on Siphon. I'll put them both on Siphon, or Leech actually. That might be a better idea, huh? Let's go check her slots. Um, if she has easy slots, like square slots, then she has two square, one triangle. Not too bad. Not, not too bad. I say that because, well, this pugilist. I have one leech already, but it's only a flat gem. So, hmm. I'm probably gonna feed this dark one to the light one. probably end up doing that but until then oh god I only have 28 sigils oh no I need to farm because the dragon dungeon is tonight all right well you guys know what I'm gonna be doing thank you for coming and watching my daily video uh, stay tuned I might stream some more I might stream tonight actually with the dragon dungeon depending on um but for that for now guys peace out have a good day i'll see you in the next one stay tuned guys